I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new here. In that case, you can click the red subscribe button below to become a part of the So Craftastic family. I would love to have you. And also, if you wanna be notified every single time I post a new video, go ahead and click the bell icon. I don't even know how to express how excited I am for this cloud tutorial. I've seen a ton of people make this. I was doing a Google search for light up DIYs. This is one of the coolest things I have ever had in my apartment. I stare at it all the time. I'm like a bug going into the light at night. Is that a bad quality to have? Easily distracted, put it on my resume. Last thing before the tutorial, if you have not seen my most recent videos, which are rainbow crayons and mini notebooks, go ahead and check those out. I'll link them below, you know, if you want to. Now, without further ado, let's get into how I made this it's beautiful light up cloud and how you can make your own. Let's go. For this project, you're going to need some paper lanterns, a light source such as an LED strip light, a big bag of cotton batting or polyfill, a hot glue gun with lots of glue sticks, some thin clear strings such as fishing line, and at least two eye screws to hang your cloud from the ceiling. The first thing I'm doing is assembling the paper lanterns one at a time, and I ended up getting various sizes. I got large, medium, and small. This is the medium one, and it does come with instructions on the package on how to assemble it. It's pretty easy. The only thing that I will say is be extra careful so you don't accidentally puncture the paper because it's a bit fragile, so don't have a heavy hand while you're doing this. I got all the paper lanterns from Party City. You could probably find them on Amazon as well for a lot cheaper. And I bought two packs of each lantern size just in case I accidentally broke or ripped any of them, but luckily I didn't. So now I have extras and I can make another cloud in the future if I want. There is no behind the scenes. Yeah. So many balls! Oh. Sarah loves balls! After the paper lantern balls are assembled, go ahead and grab your cotton or batting, whatever you choose, anything that's fluffy and cloud-like. Cotton batting comes in a sheet, so you'll want to pull it apart into smaller pieces and kind of fluff it up like I'm doing here. I had my hot glue gun heating up all this time. I use a high temperature hot glue gun because it allows the glue to stay hot and workable for a few extra seconds than the low temp. So I find that the high temp is easier to work with. That's what I'm getting at. But you still wanna work in fairly small sections. So just put the glue in maybe a two inch area at a time. Squeeze that out all zigzaggy. You don't have to make it look nice because you won't be able to see through. And then just plop down some of the cotton on top, being careful not to burn your fingers. It might be a good idea to get a pair of gloves if you're worried about burning yourself. I didn't burn myself maybe once this whole project, which is good. It's a good batting average for working with hot glue. You don't have to go crazy with the amount of glue that you use. A little bit goes a long way, but definitely make sure that it is secure, the cotton that is. One of the absolute best tips that I can give you for this project is to do this with a friend or many friends because it'll make it a lot more fun, it'll pass the time more quickly, and it's just a lot more helpful to have someone there with you because hanging it on your own could be a problem. I don't know how long it would have taken me to do this project on my own. My helper and friend here is Stephanie from Stephanie Ann Photography. She came all the way from California to come visit me and do a photo shoot and work on this DIY. So if you don't know of her and you're interested in photography, you wanna see our behind the scenes photo and she did a levitation edit, you can go on over to her photography page and I will link her in the description box below. You stole part of our supplies. We also had someone else in the room with us to supervise, none other than the famous Leo McWhiskers. He definitely added a lot of joy to our night, but he also got into a lot of stuff. So if you do have your pet in the room with you, make sure that they don't eat any of the cotton or glue sticks or anything like that. He did end up playing with the stuff, but we did keep a close eye on him. 
especially around the hot glue gun, so he didn't burn his nose or paws. Stephanie and I found that the easiest place to work on this project was simply on the floor. And you might want to put down a sheet or something that you don't mind getting glue on just in case that were to happen. We were as careful as we possibly could be. We have this paper bag down. It's not a very big surface area, but we managed not to make a mess and ruin the carpet or anything like that. And here a blanket has magically appeared because I am always cold, even in my own apartment. I think the air conditioning was on here, which I'm not a fan of, but my fiance always turns it on at night and we were working on this project really, really late. So in the comment section below, tell me if you're always hot or always cold. I usually sleep in socks, which I found out is kind of a weird thing for some people and they don't do it. And by the way, we didn't plan on both wearing ripped jeans, but we're kind of jeans twins here. And as you can see, we're here covering the last giant lantern, and this is definitely great to have two people to work on together. We got it covered in no time, and after all the lanterns were complete and all fuzzy and fluffy, we got out the strip lights, which are so beautiful. I just wanna upload an hour long video of these lights flashing all the different colors and patterns. I got this particular set of lights from Home Depot, by the way, and it came with a remote and there's so many different settings on it. It's amazing. Not gonna lie though, these strip lights were rather expensive, so it was a big investment to get them. So if you wanna use something more affordable, such as maybe going to the dollar store even and finding just Christmas lights or string lights, then that is totally fine. The main thing is that you want lights that aren't gonna heat up and possibly be a fire hazard by heating up the lanterns. LEDs are great for that, they're not gonna get hot. Now comes time to hang up your cloud and make it come to life. So for this part, I took two of the eye screws and by hand, I was able to screw those one at a time into the ceiling. And while I was doing that, Stephanie measured pieces of the clear string and tied one loop around the top of the lantern hook and another loop at the top so we can hang that from the eye screw. Side note, be extra careful with whatever you're standing on to be able to hang these high up. As you can see, I hung up the two medium sized balls on the outsides and then I grabbed the giant one and I hung that in the middle. So for this one, there were actually two strings coming out from the hook and I just put one on the left and one on the right. We thought that we were gonna use a lot more of these lanterns for the cloud design, so I think we ended up covering about six of them, but it turns out that just these three did the trick. Next step is to feed the strip lights into one of the outermost lanterns. I'm doing this from the top, and then what you're going to do is cut a hole on the side just large enough for the strip of lights to fit through. So I've cut a hole into this medium sized lantern and then I'm feeding the end of the lights through and I'm also going to cut a hole about the same height in the next lantern, which is the giant one in the middle, and I'm going to feed the lights into that. Then you'll wanna do the exact same thing to get the strip of lights flowing into the final lantern on the end. Another great thing about these lights that I'm using is that they're very lightweight. You don't wanna use lights that are too heavy because they could rip through the lantern and then everything will fall apart. Stephanie and I don't really like the shape of this because it doesn't look realistic at all. So we're gonna go in with more cotton and hot glue and fluff it out and fill it out more, make it look a little bit more cloud-like and dreamy. Basically fill in the spaces between the harsh outlines of the lanterns. So it looks like one solid shape. And now your cloud light is complete and it's beautiful and you're probably gonna spend so much time just staring at it and not getting anything done. You may have noticed that this is hung by three doors. There's two closets and a bathroom door there. And the one closet door actually 
doesn't open completely because the clouds in the way so I am gonna end up moving this but this was the best spot to hang it for video filming purposes and with the cord from the LED lights you can see here that we just taped that above the closet door along the trim and move that into the bathroom around the door frame and then just down into the plug like so. It would be a great idea to have an extension cord if needed and you might want to make it look better. Like I said, I'm going to move mine, but there are things that you can buy to put above the trim to hide cords or you could even cover the cord with white tape or whatever color matches your wall paint. And I'm not sure if it's just me, but my cloud is kind of twinning with Super Monkey Ball at some points. Do any of you guys see the resemblance? I want to know from you guys, what is your favorite thing that you've ever made? It could be a craft, a piece of clothing, or even food, like a cake that you made. Let me know in the comment section below, and thank you all so much for watching. You know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you want something else to watch with my face in it, ah, I'll stop now. But anyway, I'm gonna link them right here. There's a couple videos that you can click on. And I've decided that I'm gonna start vlogging a little bit more regularly. So if you enjoy vlogs and you wanna see mine, go on over to Live Love Sarah Lynn. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye. Is this even a wave? <laughs>